My name is Mariah Nagasu, Olympic figure skater, and this is how I work it. I'm gonna take you through 24 hours of my wellness and beauty routine. I don't really like to talk myself up. I went for the triple axel, which is a very difficult jump. There's just something about it that feels like you're just going cliff diving, and if you hit that forward edge right, it's really easy, but if you hit it poorly, it's the end of the world. I was the first American to land it at the Olympic Games in 2018. Right up and do it. Yes! That's a pretty cool thing for me. Nothing worthwhile in life is easy. Pain, do I like pain? No. I have to sometimes literally tape myself back together. When I'm out on the ice, there's no other feeling like it. Honestly, why walk when you can glide and skate and feel the wind in your face? It's 6.45 in the morning to do a matinee show. I like to kind of snooze my alarm a million times before I actually get out of bed. I think I need a minute, so I'm gonna hit the snooze button a couple more times. The first thing that I do, I turn over and kiss my dog because I actually, depressing story, didn't make it to the Olympic Games in 2014. While I was very upset, I found Lincoln, my dog, at the Humane Society. He gave me reason to go back to the ice rink. I love you. I always wash my face religiously because pimples happen and I'm really into this real fresh cleansing stick. I'm really not a morning person. I drink green tea on a regular basis, but now I also wash my face with it as well. Okay. Moisturizing is really important. It's kind of like a formula for my face because I'm really into that. Times it. I like to juice. Here she is. All you do is put the celery through the juicer. It doesn't taste that great, but I think my body feels the effects already looking cleaner, right? I like to eat a good breakfast. I absolutely believe in carbs. Carbs really help fuel programs. I like to stretch for 45 minutes. Flexibility is something that you consistently have to work on. I have to do things like pull my leg over my head and I like to foam roll. I like to stretch. This one I can put on the ground and just get into my adductor, the tightest part of my body. I don't really like to wear makeup outside of the ice rink, outside of any competition actually. I usually show up to the rink in my sweatpants. I'm getting taken now to get ready for my skating show, but nutrition is really important, so I'm enjoying this nice salad. We're here in the arena. Gotta sign these later. It me. And this is where we get ourselves together. <laughs> or not. <laughs> these are our costumes. Here's Alyssa. <laughs> This is our skates. And this is it. I'll do a 45 minute warm up. I'll do a light jog and then I'll roll out. And we also have a physical therapist on tour as well. Next we have PT. This is Katya. And she's gonna work on my hip because I have the worst adductors, which is right here. So all I have to do is lie back and Katya is magical. And I get 45 minutes on the ice. <laughs> We're going to do <laughs> rehearsals and yeah. we got our skates on. So yeah. we're a lot taller. I like to do an hour for my hair and makeup. We learn at a very young age to do our own hair and makeup because no one else is there to do it for you. I get really excited about the jumps, the falls, the sweat, the athletic side. The beauty part, I've fallen in love with too because it's part of my sport, but it's something that I really had to learn. For me personally, I like doing my hair and makeup in the bathroom and I turn on a pump up movie. I'm really into Pirates of the Caribbean, number three. Pirates are against the British. The pirates are a scraggly group of thieves. They're like, you know what? This is what we stand for and we're gonna fight even if it means we're gonna lose. That's my pump up jam because I feel like I'm going out there and competing against the rest of the field. It's kind of scary, so I say yes, I'm fighting to the death. Even if I lose, whatever happens, happens. And that's when I'm putting my war paint on. If I could, I would put the football stripes on my face, but that doesn't go with my sport, so I put the mascara on. Makeup is a very messy process for me. I will admit that before I came here, I washed all my brushes because I didn't want everyone to think I'm nasty. So first, I take my sponge, I take my priming spray, then I go 
I don't know how much to actually put on, but I think less is better, but i am always been a more is better type of person. There she is. This is a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It's a water foundation. I find that I sweat a lot here, and so it drips down. So I wanna cover up in my chin especially. I go for a natural, but not natural look, if that makes sense. So I wanna look flawlessly natural. Naturally flawless, both. I go over my eyebrows because I like to draw them in anyways. And you kind of want to get the underside of your neck as well because you don't want to have too much contrast. This is a nasty fact. We don't really wash our dresses because each crystal is hand glued onto the dress and if you were to throw it into the laundry machine, they would all fall off. The crystals really help put you in the center of focus. I might hand wash, but that's only usually in the armpit area. I'll just do like a nice deodorizing spray and forget about it. I don't like to think about it. Next is this um, face powder. It, it's actually from Japan. It's just a face powder that I, I really like. If you put water on this, it won't soak in. It'll just kind of glisten. It is great for sweating. It also smells really good. Mm. She's been through the ringer a little bit. I like to go a little bit lighter with the pencil because I don't want to overwhelm everyone with my eyebrows. If I make any mistakes, I just use my fingers as an eraser. And then to fill in the rest of it, I cheat my way through it with this tinted brow gel. I don't like to go black with my eyebrows, even though my hair color is black. I think it draws too much attention to my brows and less to my eyes. I definitely use my eyes the most. Swipe right. And then swipe left with this one, <laughs> just like dating. So next is eyeshadow, and this is my ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. I like to think that it helps accentuate my eye, but honestly, I just like glitter. I take a little bit of a lighter color, and since it's a lighter color, I like to go up a little bit higher, right into that crease. My mom is not into makeup at all, so when I first started skating, she only had a blue eyeshadow palette and mascara, so that's all I had, and that's what I used. Then YouTube became a thing, so I watched some YouTube videos, and I haven't learned how to do fake eyelashes yet, but it's on my list of to-do things. I take this whiter color. I just use my finger. It's just a here she is kind of look. So there's that. I want to like give myself a little fake smoky eye because I can't commit to a full smoky eye. I've been really into this eggplant kind of color right here. And then I'm ready for my eyeliner. I'm really into this one day tattoo real lasting eyeliner by K Palette. There are just some things that Asian brands, they consider their Asian audience. And when I smile, I get that almond crease right here. So I have to be really careful of that. On to mascara now. I was told by the Sephora lady that this is a great curler for the almond eyes. Just the gold edition. I like this. This is a Maybelline mascara. It actually is great for performances too because it doesn't run down your face. So I would totally recommend it. Unfortunately, I'm low on that. So here I am using a Deja Vu fiber wig, which I bought in Japan. And I pair it with this lash lengthening fiber. This is gonna be your biggest hit secret. You wanna look down and give it a little swish and flick. Flick it up because you want it to go on, but you don't want it to be clumpy. And then your fibers, they're gonna give you the fake look. I think it's waterproof. When I sweat, it doesn't really run, which is great. But do you see the difference? It's like a whole new person. The makeup really helps me feel like I'm getting into character though, because a lot of times I'm portraying a character who I have nothing in common with. I love this dress. It helps me feel really beautiful, and I think that when you feel beautiful, you get into character a lot more easily. Notice it's very tight because when we are doing aerodynamic jumps, it helps to be as aerodynamic as possible. This is a really, really embarrassing story. My first tour that I did, I was it was in 2010. Uh, my mom never really gave me the birds and the bees speech. I learned very quickly that granny panties, like having leotards and then being able to see the underwear line is not a good look. So um, some of the girls on tour actually got me some thongs and that's how I was introduced to thongs. So 
Welcome, get your thongs, girls. Next up is my glow kit. I like this color. I suck in my cheeks because I want that cut look. It's just a nice little highlight, I guess. And I take it up to my ears because then it follows that flow. Highlight is something that I really, really like. This highlight palette is my favorite. That moon shadow. It's really nice for performing in. I'm just so happy with how my highlighter looked today. Obviously, I really like this one. I like it when I'm skating because it's just extra. Boop. And if you can see it, it's like I'm a unicorn. I don't want to distract from my skating. Hair armpits would distract from my skating and it would bring the attention more to my armpits than my skating. And I don't really want my armpits to be talked about. I'd rather they talk about my jumps. So I like to shave them clean. I don't do blush because I don't need it. When I'm sweating and I'm getting hot, the apples of my cheeks just naturally do their thing. As far as lipsticks go, Fenty makes a great one. It's great because you know it's not gonna go on your teeth. I put this on for competition when I really want something red. But the R. Right now, when I'm performing, I really like this color. Oh, it's called Spanked. She's subtle, so she's not so in your face. From Fenty, so go Rihanna. I take my little lip brush, because I like to paint my lips like a geisha. Get that in there, nice. And I don't like lip gloss when I skate at all because it's just sticky and once your hair gets stuck in it, it just stays there. This is it for makeup though. Oh, JK, now I'm good. I'm really, really basic with my hair. I have a lot of hair. When I compete especially, I don't like it moving around and I like the slick back look. So I'll just put this up. I don't even train with the ponytail because I like having long hair. I find that it's long enough to hit me in the eye. It just really hurts. Also, one rubber band doesn't feel like it holds. These are actually extra strength rubber bands. So I'll do two of those. I use two hairsprays. I'll do a little bit of both. Kind of like the helmet my hair in. That's also another type of like protection, I guess. The makeup is warrior and then I have my helmet hair as well. Like I said, this, it's not. Not good. And then I'm really basic with my buns. I get these Jacconet hair nets. I go to Sally's salon. So Sally's also sell these strong bobby pins that are great for my Asian hair. This happens, this happens, okay? It just happens. Sometimes you just have to work with what you have. And so I have three of them. So I'll twist it up and that will get into that bun right here. Try as best to the best of your ability not to have that uncomfortable pin because you want to give yourself the best chance possible to give out the best performance and sometimes little things like a nasty bobby pin might just set you off. <sighs> This is your normal dog squeaker. I put them right in my leggings. When you can hear your feet get together, tighter is obviously better because you can rotate a lot faster. We fall to learn. It's kind of like doing math. You kind of just keep working towards that equation until you figure it out. For us, we have to learn to fall and it's through figuring out what doesn't work that we learn our jumps. I loved getting glammed up for the Oscars, but it was a totally different experience because for skating, everything has to be really tight. I had a bun, but it was the loosest bun ever and it was beautiful. I had the beautiful wispies that were just right. Could I skate like that? Probably not. This is my completed figure skating look. This is the definition of skater look. It's how I feel beautiful. It's kind of just the casing underneath it all, my muscles. Some of them are like, ooh, you felt really hard on your tailbone the other day. Duct tape is mankind's greatest invention. So right here is where skates break. I'm either going to go into new skates and have to deal with blisters or I'm going to reinforce my old skates. So I take my duct tape and I just wrap it around and around and around and basically create a shield for my skates. My feet are nasty, so I don't really like to show them off in public. I like to take my Spanko second skin and they're literally just disposable gel pads. So you can see here that I had a blister. For a while I was putting this on to protect it. There's so much going on. Your adrenaline is high. Your nerves are high. I'm usually sweating because I'm nervous. Some days I feel really good, like I'm a 
a rock star and I'm ready to throw it down. And other times I'm a little bit scared and you just can't ever account for how you're gonna feel. So the things you can account for are the things that you do every day in practice. So you wanna look for those things to rely upon. Five minutes, five minutes. That's Bobby. Love you, Bobby. Five minutes. Here's the curtain. Let's take a sneak peek. Doing a quick little warm up. Remember how I said I couldn't do fakies? The girls taught me how to put them on today, so got my skates on. Gotta get the blood flowing. I like to do like a. to get my feet going, but I gotta go. Show is beginning. The show is two and a half hours. We do two solo performances each. I'm going into my first solo number. This is called Youth by Daughter, and it's about insecurities and how, especially for figure skaters, we're told we need to be perfect and look perfect, but we don't always feel that way. Just finished my first solo, I'm a little out of breath. My favorite number, the 90s. So I'm gonna go get ready for that. Getting my space buns on. We have this one 90s number where I'm a Spice Girl, then the boys are Backstreet Boys. Oh my God, this look. Here we are, space buns. We're ready for the 90s. I'm really tone deaf and I'm kind of blanking, but. Da -na, da -da -na, the one desire. I sing it so loud. <laughs> And I get to wear um, Ozzy Osbourne glasses when I'm in that performance and I literally can't see anyone. So I'm living my best life when I'm singing my tone deaf version of the Backstreet Boys. We don't have time for smelly breath, so basket of mints, Altoids, water, stay hydrated. I don't like antiperspirant because I absolutely believe that your body's natural response to cool itself down is to sweat. So I don't really smell that much, but I do love Bear Glove. Old Spice Bear Glove is men's deodorant. I carry my stress in my shoulders. By week three of the Olympic games, I was really stressed out. I use KT tape to just keep my shoulders in place because as I was getting more and more nervous, I was starting to shrink into myself. I also use this on my adductor. Remember when people were like, is that a tattoo? They only had this bright colored tape. So so I was like, yeah, I'm on Team USA, I'll use it. That just keeps my adductor in place. Another number. This one, I'm a businesswoman. I'm a little tired, but just a day in the office. I got this. So after the businesswoman, I do a very fast quick change because I'm the first number after it. This is it, the finale. Here we are in our matching but different color finale costumes. We're ready. <laughs> The show ends, and by that point, I'm exhausted, but it's worth it. We gotta put on cute clothes okay, for a yeah. meet and greet. After the show, we have meet and greets, so I usually sit in my grime unless I have my towel wet. If you don't want to shower in a nasty arena where you don't know what bacteria is floating around, you need shower sheets as such, like this. And we're finally done! As soon as that last photo is over, I just it's nice, it feels like I'm myself again. Like I love, I love glamour and I, I like this, but it's nice to have the confidence to go out into public without any makeup on. When my head hits the pillow after being a professional figure skater, I'm out, lights out, gone, bye.